Hello guys, uh, this is Andermati and this is a tutorial how to import uh, your own logo in After Effects and import it in Element 3D, extrude it, texture it, uh, then animate and render it. Okay, there is a three way uh, in After Effects how you can import uh, your logo in your project. Uh, first is a file, uh, import, file, then you choose your uh, logo destination. Uh, second one is a uh, double click here and uh, this uh, same way. Uh, and third is uh, just open your folder and drag and drop your file here. Then choose composition because we want to separate uh, our uh, logo by uh, layers. Uh, then double click here and you can see the uh, separated uh, layers. Uh, there is uh, five um, uh, Photoshop layer. Uh, first two is a um, background, I suppose. Yeah, it's um, background. We don't need them. Uh, we need the three uh, layer. Uh, uh, double clicking group one. Uh, this is our text. Uh, for the beginning, uh, let's create a composition in full HD format. Uh, it's uh, 30 FPS, yes, okay. Let's name it element 3D composition. Then right click here, uh, choose new and solid. Name it uh, element 3D again. Element 3D, okay. Then search your uh, plugin. Drag and drop it on your composition. Okay. Now we we need um, source layers. Uh, it is in Andamati. Okay. Choose these three layers. Copy it in your Element 3D composition. Uh, choose them all. Uh, uh, push on P on your keyboard. This is Hot K for positions. Then uh, right click, reset, right click, reset, and right click, reset. Uh, the layers are in center of our composition. Then go into Element 3D layer, uh, go into co custom layers, go into custom text and masks, uh, choose our uh, layers, Element 1. Mm. Ellipse 1, Ellipse 1 copy, and Ellipse 1 copy 2. Um, hide them, we don't need them. Uh, going to scan setup. Okay. Then push on extrude. Go to our first circle in 3D. Let's higher resolution. Okay. And extrude it more like this, uh, then uh, extrude again uh, uh, in custom pass, choose pass 2 you can see another circle here then going to extreme uh, level of uh, resolution subject it will be extruded more then extrude again choose pass 3 Get third circle, stream level, and it will be extrude more. Okay. Now, uh, size of this uh, uh, circles are too bold. I'm going to decrease them and go to group one, particle look, then particle size, maybe six. It will be good. Okay. Uh, then we'll try to rotate it. Yeah, there is our three circles. Okay. Uh, now we need some shadows uh, and lights. For this, go to uh, render setting. Then 
MB Inclusion, checkbox Enable I.O. Then choose Ray Trace. And there is our shadows. Now we need some lights. Uh, we can add from uh, physical environment yeah, or add uh, light from here. Choose uh, 360 degree to make some colors here. Maybe maybe natural. Okay. Uh, now we need some light. Uh, right click here, then new, then light. It must be parallel light uh, color. It will be yellow. Okay. There is it. And some highlights here. Okay. Uh, next step is import uh, or create uh, text of logo. This is A. Uh, I don't remember font of this, and because I'm going to in Photoshop, and uh, let's double click this text, and there is. It's named uh, by Papuka. Okay. Going to After Effect, New Text, A, and okay, it's Papuka here. Uh, Let's com uh, let's copy it and go to element uh, 3D composition. Paste here. Got our A. Uh, choose element 3D layer. Then go to pass layer four. It will be A. Font Babuka. Then going to scan tab. Then extrude it, then choose here pass four. Yeah, there is our text. Increase size. This guy extrusion is too high. Okay, okay, maybe decrease more. Okay. Now we got our logo in three direction. Uh, next step is uh, color our logo. Okay. Let's check out the sizes. Maybe A must be more bigger. Go to scan stop and increase our A size. Okay. I am going to choose the colors for our 3D logo. Uh, open Photoshop, just choose our logo color. Copy this code from Photoshop and go to After Effects. Go here in Scan Setup, choose our A text and Go to bell one texture and copy our color code here. There is it. Okay. Let's hit OK. Then we need a second color of this uh, composition. Let's choose copy. Okay. Hands top. Let's look at in Photoshop. Okay, this is the second one. Copy our color code here. It's same. Then we want some color here too. The same. Then we need some uh, strokes. And I will show you how to do strokes in Element 3D. Okay. It's okay. Uh, let's look uh, in Photoshop. We need these strokes, yellow strokes, then white stroke, and the uh, third is a yellow circle. Okay. 
let's fix a third uh, circle and let's copy this code okay and choose this then we need the uh, two strokes here a yellow and white uh, let's choose our extrusion model 2 it's this guy uh, then in under the you know, bevel co copies uh, choose a 2 you can see they created an, another texture this is a, our uh, extrusion 2 in extrusion uh, model 2 okay uh, for this we just increase our extrusion yeah edges decrease extrusion make edges higher okay let's see what we got okay there is it there is our stroke let's look at in photoshop how bold it must be uh it's thin and yellow okay choose our color again copy it and okay choose our circle 2 and do the same way now choose a model then bevel copies bevel copy 2 go to bevel 2 then increase edges and decrease a little bit okay uh, extrusion let's see um, what's going in photoshop okay it might be thin okay now we must to do the th same way uh, with text we need a stroke for this choose our extrusion model A bevel copies 2 choose bevel 2 edges and a little bit decrease our okay okay let's see again it must be older I suppose Mm -hmm. Okay, this is our logo version in 3D. Can I see the 3D model now. Now we animate it a little bit and then render it. Okay, let's create new camera. Going to right click here, new camera. Then choose a uh, 50 millimeters. Hit OK. Now create uh, adjustment layers. Uh, no, sorry, null object. Uh, make it 3D. And then uh, take this lasso tool and drag it in null one. The null one became the controller of our uh, camera. Now look at rotation, uh, push on air on your keyboard, it's rotation, hot key, and you see that camera turns around the our three-dimensional object. Okay, let's do some animation here. Going to go there. And position, K okay, position, going to here, position, mm -hmm. go here. What we have 
there is an animation of our logo, but it's not cool. Okay, let's help with element 3D rotation. You you show that um, hot key you shows you all keys uh, what you enter in your layer. Let's rotate our logo. Okay. And hot. Okay. So like this. Okay. Let's see what we have. Okay. Let's locate our animation, then push on uh, space. I'm not happy with this. Maybe a little bit more rotation needed. Is X push on this watch. Then maybe like this, okay. Let's do some animation. It's not bad, but it's not as uh, good. It's maybe fast because I'm okay. Hit U. Choose all okay keyframes. Go here and let's see our animation. Let's see it in the real time. Not bad. Now it's smoother. Okay, I want some reflections here and some highlights. And because I'm going to element 3D layer, scans it up. And let's look what's going here. Maybe change environment. Go to environment and choose default environment from Windows Copilot. Open it. Let's make better highlights. Mm. Then going to glossiness. Let's look. We are editing the yellow for our text. Uh, yeah some kind of this yeah, yeah it's better now let's decrease it a little bit this flexion maybe make two here the same way here okay the same way here. In the same way, make two. Maybe I just copy this layer. Pero one. And drag and drop for all yellows. Make it brighter. The same for the screen layer. Okay, just to edit it a little bit, maybe two. It's too much. 1.2 uh, for white layers. And let's see in composition. Okay, I've got some highlights here. Let's do some background for this composition. New. Solid. 
and choose this code. Go to under element 3D and make some ramp, maybe the gradient here. Okay. Now we can draw. Choose for white this guy and choose for black yellow. Okay, maybe it will be like this. Okay. There is our animation of our logo. Now go to go. Now I'm going to render it and Okay, I'm happy with this and I'm going to render. Hit Ctrl M, then choose quick time here, okay, and send it on desktop and then render it. This is all. Subscribe for watching a new tutorial from Andamati.